Need my headphones. Cause we're gonna be we're gonna watch a video. That the video is important. Su Su Superman game? Maybe. Maybe. This is another another Batman game with Batman doing bat stuff with the bat tech and the bat cave and the bat whatever. Who knows? Hey guys, what is up? Dragon Knight here with some new DC news. Now I know it's been a little while since you heard from me last. We did a Red Hood Theory video. Make sure you go check it out. Uh, turns out I was right. Uh, get wrecked. DC Marvel Theory here. That's that's just a theory. Ha! It was right, so it's a fact now. We're a fact channel. No. <laughs> But anyways guys, this is the middle of the DC Fandom event, which by the way, holy crap, this thing is awesome. I will be doing a video about the entire event within the next upcoming weeks or so. But until then, let's stick around because there is a new trailer out. But let's check it out. Let's, let's put our trusty headphones in and uh, check this thing out, shall we? In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried a body in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Interesting. It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. That's... News and this sounds, this sounds very much like how Arkham Knight ended. Yeah, yeah, Bruce is dead. So this is an Arkham sequel? Okay, so we got someone in an alleyway right now. What is this? Code Black. Edgy. Damn, look at the detail on that. If you're watching this, I'm dead. Well, rip that. Wait, Jason? Dude, Jason's in this. Oh my god, yes. This message was automatically triggered when I okay. the cave. Wheel check. Bob, Bobber. Oh, we, both know shit. we got back out. Those criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Never trusted us. Wait, Jim Jim's Black. dead? Yikes. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. Hey, Nightwing, my boy. He's I'm honestly like one of my favorite of problems. Operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need. Some of the technology is outdated. Piss off, man. I've always had no. my back when I needed you. Also, Tim Drake? Nice. And he's not bald. And goodbye. Subtle hint, Arkham Games. Oh, this is sick. Oh, I gotta love the suit up scenes. Oh, no, that's sick. Bruh. This definitely seems open world, so that's a good sign. Who is that? Is that Anarchy? Oh, that is a jerk. Oh, yes. Oh, these title sequence. I'm, I'm already sold. Like, I'm buying this game. <laughs> Nightwing being a goddamn tornado. Red Hood. <clears throat> so sick. I love that they're doing his character justice. Were those owls in the background? Why ain't? Hold up. Since when could Tim go invisible? Am I missing something? Oh, this is awesome. And Tim can teleport now? Jesus. <laughs> Dude, this is so stylized, and I love it so much. Yes, we're getting that cycle. Ugh. 
That thing's gonna be so fun to ride on, you don't even know. I'm gonna be drifting like crazy in that. Gotham Knights. Bruh, that is one dope title. Like, don't even get started. Why am I getting like it vibes? No one talks about them. Oh, Court of Owls talents! Everyone was so right. They were all talking this was gonna be it. What do you know? Not a whisper word is said. Bruh, there were so many of them. Jesus. For if you try to crush them. Can we talk about the fact that they had to hide this somewhere? Like someone had to build this entire layer. Jesus, jump scaring us right at the end there. Step into the night, 2021. Well, I know where all my money is going in 2021. Jesus Christ. That was sick. Bruh. We gotta learn more about this game. While we only have the trailer itself and the gameplay footage to go off, there's a lot of things to discuss and cover in regards to this game. So straight off the bat, this was released during the first part of the DC Fandom event that was held on the 22nd of August this year. This game is produced by WB Montreal, who are the same people who produced Batman Arkham Origins. WB sets the stage right out the bat by introducing the audience to a world where Batman is dead. The Cape Crusader who had been protecting Gotham for over 15 years has perished. So instead of another Batman centered game, WB takes a risk takes a risk here and really shifts its focus onto the sidekicks. These sidekicks in particular are Nightwing, aka Dick Grayson, Red Hood, aka Jason Todd, Batgirl, aka Barbara Gordon, and finally Red Robin, aka Tim Drake. This this just um, um, immediately sells the game to me. This is amazing. We've been wanting to see these Robins forever and we're finally getting them. I know I've been begging DC for years to get this, honestly. This not only meets my expectations, but it exceeds them in every way. What a perfect addition to the Arkham franchise. Uh, what? What? Wait, what do you mean this isn't in the Arkham series? Bruce is literally dead, just like in Arkham Knight. You're kidding. This is a new universe? How many universes do they even have at this point? Fine, fine, fine. I'll get back to the video. Well, anyways, as you just heard, this game is not, I repeat, not connected to the Batman Arkham series of games. The creator himself stating that Gotham Knights is the start of an all new original universe. Well, okay, I get it. Different companies and whatnot, but like, at this point, I'm just considering this to be a soft sequel slash reboot to the Batman franchise. Like, come on, this is a sequel. If, even if you won't admit it. Come on, WB. I, I know what you want about. I, I'm on to you. But with that in mind and all introductions out of the way, Let's get into what this game is all about. Starting with the first category... Let's get into the most important aspect of this game, the characters. As said, we will be able to play as all four Robins, aka Batman sidekicks throughout the game. Each of these heroes has a different fighting style and weapons that correlate with their strengths and weaknesses. For instance, Batgirl is a hacker and so her abilities focus on the fact that she can hack computers and help the Bat family out through the use of technology. Red Robin focuses more on stealth, being able to turn invisible and teleport around thanks to the Watch Towers teleporting technology. Yeah. I know, it took a lot of watching the trailer to piece that one together. Cause like, since when could Robin teleport? And I'm like, you know what? I'm willing to look aside the fact that this is kind of ridiculous to just get some cool gameplay. I'm assuming Jason's strengths are just going to be guns. Like literally just using his guns. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, don't mess with Jason. He got the power of the Second Amendment and Bat anime on his side. <laughs> Although I do feel inclined to point out that one of the people working on the game spoke out and said Jason is willing to use non-lethal methods in this game. So what you're telling me is laser bullets. Yep. That's laser bullets, all right. The characters will apparently be given special abilities as indicated by the big glowing bar here. Cyclone fucking Nightwing! <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I just saw that, I was like, what the hell? Well, I think that sums up the characters rather well. Let's move on to the next topic.
Gotham Knights takes all the mechanics we loved about the Arkham series and then just doubles the hell down on them. Like, makes them even better than Arkham. I'm not even joking. The game is an open-world action RPG which splits the city of Gotham into five distinct boroughs. The producers talk about how this game is going to be bigger and better than anything we've seen in the Batman game universe before. I mean, while it is sounding markety tropes, blah blah blah, I am honestly inclined to believe them after watching the gameplay footage. It's taken previous complaints about the Batman game, such as the city being basically abandoned, and turns it on its head. The producer has stated that the Gotham we will be seeing in this game is a living, breathing city unlike the Arkham games. There will still be regular tropes of RPG action games, such as the crime and progress missions you can choose to participate in if you wish. You know, if you don't feel like being an asshole. Always fun going around beating small time thugs before you have to go team takedown Joker in his goddamn makeup face. Speaking of which, the team takedowns concept that was introduced in the Arkham series has just been put on drugs and set loose in this game. Like, you have no idea. With the different styles of these four different Robins, it seems to be that we are in for some incredible team takedowns. One player lines it up while the other initiates the takedown and we are treated to an incredible cinematic shot of this dude's back breaking. Now the game developers have stated there will be a two player online co-op function for the game. However, this is only an online function and no couch co-op will be available. While I find the no couch co-op to be an interesting decision, I'm still hyped as hell to be able to play the game with my mates. Well, those of us who can afford all these AAA titles draining out our bank accounts. Looking at you, Knight Smith. Speaking of things that must be expensive as hell, the goddamn bat cycle is in this game. Can we get some hype? <laughs> Woo! Bat cycle, that's, that's gonna be fun. It'll allow for a more dynamic and entertaining driving experience than the Arkham Knight's Batmobile ever did. Me and the boys having bat cycle drag races throughout Gotham, terrorizing the citizens more than Scarecrow's root be a float city. The final mechanic that has been alluded to is the character levels and customization. You'll notice in the gameplay footage the villains all have a level numbers above their heads, which allocates them with a certain amount of danger as to you know should you face off against them should you not i think this concept could either be done to an excellent degree or a really poor one just based on how they tackle this i think it could be fun leveling up the different characters and fighting more and more difficult and complex battles but if the game is just going to be this constant grind for xp i can see how that would end up becoming a drag after a while along with this is the idea of upgrading your bat fam characters with new costumes gadgets and other essential gear throughout the game. We see several costume changes throughout the game play footage such as Batgirl's new mask or Tim going from little 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 baby Robin to a uh, red Robin. That's gonna be sick. Like I really I really hope WB you really focus in on this because I think like suit customizations and stuff would be amazing and you have the law to do it. I know you do. So I hope to see more cool features like that in the future of this game. Now there are a lot of easter eggs that were pointed out to me in this footage that we did receive. I'm going to highlight it briefly, but we're not going to go into too much detail about it. First of these easter eggs being the Belfry as their home base of operations. This is a lesser known Batcave style scenario where it's in the top of some like clock tower. We saw it in the Batman Arkham series where Oracle was hanging out. Now in this universe, Jim is dead. It's confirmed. Batman said it. Now you'll notice there's a couple of things in this gameplay where he talks about how the police has never been on their side since Jim died. Now there's a few things I want to point out about this. A few people online have pointed out the fact that there is a owl on the Gotham City police badge which is seen next to the picture of Barbara and her father. Now you know this could be nothing or it could be the fact that the police are controlled by the Court of Owls. It's a conspiracy. I tell a conspiracy. But anyways, moving forward, another part of the Barbara origin story scene is we see a wheelchair in her little base of operations. So this has confirmed to be the Barbara Gordon that was once Oracle, but has now been healed and has been restored to her Batgirl state. 
Another small but noticeable detail is Star Labs is an actual location in the game. Like it's an actual building, you see it on monitor screens and stuff like that. I mean, we hinted, we hinted some Flash, maybe some Cyborg? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I'd, I'd take some Flash. I'd take some Flash any day. Gimme give, give a Flash game. I want a Flash game. The final easter egg in this little spin wheel of guess that Batman villain is a hospital named Edward H. Elliot Center, which, as some of you who are the comic fans would know, this alludes to the character of Hush. But yes, that is it for our little fun game of uh, guess the easter egg for this video. I'm sure there'll be plenty more that pop up, so feel free to tell me if there's anything I missed in the comments below. And let's move on to the final topic of this video. Now there's not much here in the way of confirmation since this only did just come out. What we do know is Mr. Freeze will be a main villain in the game and will have his own boss fight along with the Court of Owls and the Talons who I believe are going to be the main villains. I theorize that they are like the strings behind it all kind of thing. I mean let's not get another Arkham Origin story where it's like it was the Joker all along. I think it would be cool to have the like Court of Owls and the Talons running everything from behind the scenes. They're a really cool villain and have just been brought out of this Batman mythos more and more lately and the final confirmation is what this game will be coming out on so it will be coming out in the year 2021 which is awesome I hope it comes out even sooner but I know it won't the platforms of which this game will be released on are PC Xbox one PlayStation 4 the pro versions of both those consoles and the newly released well releasing consoles the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X to conclude there's a lot to talk about with this new Batman game. I think a lot of people are hyped while also a bit skeptical to see where this game goes and what happens. My personal opinions are I am really hyped to play this game. It looks so much fun and I've really been loving the direction DC is going in. All this DC fandom stuff has got me so hyped and do prepare for me to make a lot more videos about this stuff. Anyways guys let's cut to the title card and finish up with this video. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you are all as excited as I am for this new Batman game. God, it looks good. Mm, I'm so hyped. 2021 cannot come sooner, honestly. But anyways guys, if you did like this, make sure to leave a like down below and comment what you hope to see this future Batman game. But anyways, yeah. Did you know only 19% of our views on this channel come from our subscribers? Join the Dragon Knight army guys, get on board, we got a ton of new videos coming up. Suicide Squad game, the Batman, so much stuff, there's so much news. Thank you DC Fandom, you are literally amazing. But anyways guys, one final time, thanks for watching, and I will see all you nerds in my next video.